Now last week I showed you how to request permission to unlock the bootloader of any Xiaomi device. And I wanted to do that so that we could go on to this next step of actually unlocking the bootloader for the Redmi Note 5, the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and the Redmi, Redmi Note, Note 5 Plus. Because this whole process can be kind of complicated when you look at it from beginning to end, I sectioned off that first step of requesting permission in the last tutorial. And I'll have that linked in the full tutorial, which will be linked at the bottom of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. So once you have created your account, attached your account to the Xiaomi smartphone, and you have received the SMS verification message to verify your account, then we can proceed with the bootloader unlock method for the Redmi Note 5 Pro series. Once you have that done, you're gonna to need to go to a special Xiaomi bootloader unlock page. Again, I'll have that link directly in the full tutorial, which is actually linked below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Once you go to that bootloader unlock page, it's going to ask you to sign in to the same me account from Xiaomi. And then it's going to tell you to download the me unlock tool to your desktop computer. It's going to be in a zip format. So you're going to need to decompress it anywhere onto your computer. It doesn't matter where. Once we have extracted the Me Unlock files to a folder on our computer, we're going to just double click on and run the Me Unlock exe file. It's going to bring up this disclaimer just to make sure you know the risks that are that come with unlocking the bootloader. We're just going to go ahead and click on Agree. And then it's going to ask us to sign into our Xiaomi account. Now once you have signed into your Xiaomi account, it's going to tell you to it's going to tell you that your phone is not connected. That's because we haven't gotten to that step yet. So it's going to tell you to turn the phone off and then hold both the volume down and the power buttons at the same time. And this is going to bring us into fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode. Once you are once you are in bootloader mode, we can go ahead and connect your Xiaomi smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. It's going to detect it and then it's going to give you a warning saying attention we're going to unlock the device. The unlock will erase user data. Just go ahead and click on the unlock option and then click on unlock anyway. Click on unlock anyway one more time. It's going to verify the device, unlock the device, and then you're going to see your smartphone actually reboot. That reboot actually wipes the phone. And you don't even need to click this reboot phone button, but you can if you want. I guess it depends on the different Xiaomi phone you're currently using. Once that says unlock su successfully, we can then just unplug the cable from the smartphone and then exit out. We're going to see our smartphone reboot a couple of times. And since we just did a factory reset, basically, 
device is going to be completely clean. All of the data is going to be wiped. All your apps are going to be gone. Now again, if this is your first time doing this, as I mentioned, it's going to make you confirm that you own the phone by sending you a confirmation SMS message. And just like I said before, the first time I did this, it took a number of days before I actually got confirmation. So instead of you instantly being able to unlock the device like I did here, it's actually going to say, hey, we're going to send you an SMS message and you will need to confirm it once you receive it. Once your account has been confirmed, then as long as your, your device is connected to your Xiaomi account, then the process will be as straightforward as it was just then. just be patient during this process then you can see that boot cycle took a long time just be patient and now we are back at the Android activation screen for MIUI